Hey, my name is Jeremy, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to draw a gear in Illustrator. So you can see here on my screen, I've got this cool 3D version. I've got some flat versions here as well, and some shadows as well. And you can see here, you can get playful with it and create some really cool, interesting you know, shapes and compositions. And all we're gonna do is just use simple shapes in Illustrator, and it's gonna be really quick. So Let's jump into here. The first thing I want to do is go to the left hand side, click on my ellipse tool, which is the circle here. Once I do that, the shortcut key is L as well. And I'm going to hold Alt and Shift and drag that up. I'm just going to select a black color for now because I just want to keep it simple. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a square or a rectangle. So if I go back to the shape tools on the left, I'll click on the rectangle tool. What I'm going to do as I click and drag, I'm going to hold Alt. If you're on a Mac, it will be option. And you can see here, what's happening is I'm just dragging and it's making a square. So you sort of want to make like a half square, half rectangle, like this. And you can make it as tall as you want. If you want to make it heaps tall, you just go to the bounding box with the selection on the end and you can just drag it if you want. I tend to make it not too tall. And then what I can actually do is press A for the direct selection tool. And then what I can do now is select the corners, the top corners, right? I'll do one by one. So I'll select the right corner. And all I'm going to do is hold shift and tap the left arrow key. And what's this going to do? It's going to push this in. I'm going to do the same for the other top left corner. Hold shift and do that three times so it's even. So I did it three times on both sides. So we have this cool shape like this. It's sort of like a pyramid. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control Y. I'm gonna, this is gonna be my outline mode. So you can see, if I zoom in here, you can see this little X. If I put my mouse over it, you can see it says the center, because my smart guides are telling me the circle's the center. What I can do is, I'm gonna select my top shape, I'll get out of the outline mode, I'll select this shape, I'm gonna press R for the rotation tool, and if I have my smart guides on, all I have to do is go into the middle and it should tell me where the center is. If you have trouble finding it, just go to outline mode and it'll, and it'll show you. So once I press R, I, I select the object, press R, find the middle. When, before I click, you want to hold option or alt and left click once. Then what you can do from here, you, you get a rotation box and you can choose on the angle you want. So if I move my mouse and hold shift, you can see it's going to move along. The typically, typically on like a mechanical gear, there's like many rivets um, on the side. So I want to make sure that there's enough there. So I'll, I'll probably put it on 40 degrees and press copy. So from that, what I'm going to do is just press control D. I'm, I haven't touched anything else. All I'm going to do is gonna press control D multiple times. And it's you can see it's just duplicated all these rings. So now what I'm going to do is press is select the middle circle button. What I'm going to do is press Control C and Control F to paste it in front. I'm going to drag this down like this in the center, make it white, and now you can see we've made a gear icon. I can select this circle and always like drag it up if I want, make it thicker, make it tiny if I want, whatever, however you want to do it. But this works fine. And then what I want to do now is I'm just going to plus everything together. So what I can do is press Shift M for the Shape Builder tool, which is super quick. So make sure you select everything, press Shift M. What I'm going to do is hold Alt and left click the middle because I want to cut out the white the white circle. And then what I'm going to do, after I cut out the white circle, I can hold Shift and drag a box of everything and it's going to plus all the shapes into one shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure everything is selected and with the Shape Builder tool now, what I can do is just hold and drag and select all these little points and parts together. So then we're gonna have all these plus together. So you can see all the little square shapes is now plus with the black circle shape that was around it and the white piece is cut out. So now we've got a simple shape in the back. So if I put a thing in the back, you can see that it's cut out and it's like, I can put things behind it, which is pretty cool. And then you can play around with colors and just make it super cool. And there we have it. We've made a gear. You can play around. You can add like a circle here. You can add like, I can duplicate the circle, make it like, put it like a, a, a line through it. Maybe there's like a laser cut or something. You know, there's so many ways you can do it. And there's multiple ways of creating different sides. 
I want to show you one more thing before I finish this tutorial. And it's a cool tool from Astute Graphics, which makes creating a gear so much easier, literally in like one click. So I have dynamic shapes here. I'll click the plugin. And now you can see I've got all these pre-made shapes. You've got love high, you've got clouds, arrows, all this cool stuff. What I can do is click this gear icon. And all I have to do is click and drag out. I can press the up and down arrow keys to increase the amount of gear rivets on the sides there. As you can see there. And if I let go, now I change the color now. You can see it automatically made the gear super easy. What I can then do is select the shape, click the inside the tool here, and I can customize the amount of teeth. That's the word for it. It's called teeth. So see that? I can make the tip thicker or wider. I can make the root bigger. Like you can do all this weird stuff with it. All this super cool tool from Astute Graphics. Like it's super awesome. They're not sponsoring this video. I just like the tool and I'm using it. But this is a quicker way to do the, the, um, the gear if you want to do that. I'll quickly show you how to make it 3D as well. So maybe this is the gear. What I can do, I'll go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. I'll click Preview. And you can see here I can increase the depth. Press OK and I'll make the front, I'll change the color of the actual thing and it'll pop up now. So now you can see it just made it 3D, which is super cool. And then I can expand it. And then what you can do is like, you know, I can color all these bits darker if I want and play around and, you know, do all this cool stuff. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to create a gear icon or shape or illustration, whatever you want to call it. But there's so many, you know, types of ways you can do it. And I think it's super cool to be able to do that in Illustrator. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I post tutorials every week and also give the design tips. And leave a comment and engage with me. You know, I'm always here, happy to chat and give you some tips. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.